Hey everybody, this is Dave with Growing the Home Garden. I'm here for another update on the Tasmanian chocolate tomato plant. And we've harvested quite a few uh, tomatoes off of this one. We've had about 10 to 15 good size, delicious tasting tomatoes that came off of it. So overall, I think it's a success. Um, it is a determinant plant, so it doesn't produce as much as say an indeterminate would. But what I want to show you here today is one of its potential problems. And this can happen with pretty much all tomato plants and anything in that family, including potatoes and peppers. But you can get what's called a late season blight. And if you'll notice here on these leaves, see how they're wrinkled up and they're brown and they're dying back. And if you look further in here, you'll see some damage right there on the interior parts of the leaf. And it goes all the way through to the other side here. And that's a symptom of the late blight. Um, it's the same blight that actually caused the Irish pot potato famine. Uh, it's basically a fungus and you can prevent it by doing fungicides and things like that. Uh, you can also remove leaves and things and try to prevent its spread. But you'll notice on this plant here, it's even up here toward the top of the plant and down over here. And it's best whenever you have a fungal disease to not use that soil for that same type of plant again for a while. It's got to have some time to die out. So in this pot, what I'll do is after I remove the tomato plant, I'll put in something different. I'll probably do some fall greens or something in here uh, instead of this particular, instead of another plant like a tomato or pepper or anything that would be subject to that same wilt. So anyway, the sub parts of the plant are still pretty healthy. So for a little while, I may go ahead and try to just remove the leaves and kind of keep the damage to a minimum and see if I can squeak out a tomato or two more. But in the meantime, underplant the pot area with probably some kale, lettuce, chard, things like that uh, down in the bottom. I'll let that go ahead and get, get growing while there's still some shade in the pot. And, you know, eventually this fall I'll have something uh, that I can eat, but it won't be a tomato. So, and unfortunately that's just how it happens. We've got a lot of tomato plants that that are subject to that. Uh, heirloom varieties tend to be more subject than say something that's been bred to resist it. Uh, so, you know, that's just kind of the cost of dealing with heirlooms. But this was a good tomato. Really liked growing it in these pots and I would do it again because uh, the fruit tasted good. In fact, you know, the first fruits weren't as good as say the later ones that came. So, you know, it kind of grew on me. Anyway, that was the Tasmanian chocolate tomato plant. I would definitely grow it again because uh, it's definitely a great one to grow in pots on a back patio or porch or deck. Uh, if you don't have a lot of space, definitely something that you ought to try. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. Have a good one.